Thank you. Well, in October of uh, last year, we had the government's referendum on the abolition of the Shannon. It was defeated by the people, and it was quite clear during that campaign and the result of the campaign that people voted for change, people voted for reform, and people want to see the Shannon retained but fundamentally reformed. And our view has been consistent before the referendum, during the referendum, and after the referendum that the Shannon in its current form is unacceptable. It's elitist, it's undemocratic, and needs to be radically reformed. So we are pushing for uh, real radical reform, and it's obvious to us at this point in time that the government is going for piecemeal reform. All we have seen from the government so far is an attempt to extend the university franchise in some of the panels, but there is no real appetite from uh, their perspective for radical reform. If we're going to properly reform the Shannon, I think it's also obvious that we need to include the voice of citizens and voices from outside the political system. And there needs to be a forum or a conduit to allow all of the ideas which are out there, because it was quite obvious also during the campaign itself that there was a range of different ideas on how the Shannon could be reformed, on how we elect people to the Shannon and the powers and functions of the Shannon. And we believe that the appropriate forum is the Constitutional Convention. It is the appropriate place where all of those ideas can be properly ventilated and then that uh, convention can make recommendations to government on how the Shannon can be reformed. And if we again need constitutional change and a referendum, then that's what we should do. But we have to make sure that we get it right and that we do have a second chamber which is fit for purpose. Uh, we also believe as well that while the constitutional convention's remit should be extended uh, and it should be given a mandate to deal with uh, real reform, including the Shannon and Dáil reform, that uh, fundamental principles obviously should underpin their discussions. And for us, those principles are universal franchise, that we have to have a situation where every citizen, every voter has an opportunity to vote for people who are elected to any arm of parliament. We cannot continue with people not having a voice and not having a vote and indeed the only vote that people had in relation to the Shannon was the referendum itself. So that would be for us a clear principle. Also voting rights for people who live in the north and the Irish diaspora and there seems to be consensus on that issue. Uh, minority groups and marginalised groups should be represented and have a voice as well and also there should be equal gender balance of 50%. So there is appetite for real change. I think the people, by rejecting abolition, voted for a radically reformed Shannon. That's what they should get. Uh, we met the Taoiseach on this issue. We pressed him to put the issue into the Constitutional Convention and to extend the remit. He has not done so. And from uh, our perspective, he is going to go for minimalist reform rather than the radical reform that people want, that people need, and people voted for. So we will continue to press for that reform and to press the government to do the right thing and put this into the Constitutional Convention. And then let's have the debate, and a real debate, on the future of not just the Shannon, but also of the Dáil and the Oireachtas.